Hello, I'm Greg Kasavin, and I'm here with Jeff Gerstmann, senior editor, to talk about River City Ransom EX for the Game Boy Advance. Uh, Jeff, can you tell us a little bit about this game and kind of where it comes from? Well, basically, uh, River City Ransom EX is a remake of a 1989 NES game just called River City Ransom. Um, it was basically a uh, non-linear beat-em-up, so it took kind of the, the template from a game like Double Dragon or uh, Final Fight and took it... Uh, to this kind of world perspective where you can kind of run around, go from place to place and do different things. So it had kind of a specific quest as uh, you, as either Alex or Ryan, uh, try to uh, rescue Ryan's girlfriend from the evil clutches of Slick. So now it's, they've kind of spruced it up for the GBA, but so, so what's different about it? There's like new moves and... Yeah, like um, there's uh, a bunch of new moves in the game. Basically, you know, they actually start you out with two of the key techniques from the original game now, and they've added a, a whole mess of new techniques, um, some of which are interesting, some of which aren't actually very useful at all. Um, some of them are pretty crazy. You can actually cause weapons to levitate and fly at enemies uh, now, which is really crazy. Um, they've added some new attack moves. You can charge up and do kind of a dragon punch maneuver. Um, it's all pretty standard stuff, um, and a lot of it seems more like it's just a... You know, new animations for you know moves that were in the old game because you know you can only kick a guy so many different ways. Right. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. I can think of a lot. Of, no. Um, but that's so. That all sounds great, but it turns out the game's got some problems too. Yeah, um, the game definitely has some problems. I mean, they updated the graphics, they updated the sound a little bit, um, but basically it, it's the same game, and uh, that works for it in some ways because, you know, a lot of people have a lot of really strong feelings about the original, but it also works against it because uh, the original River City Ransom is a very short game, and uh, you can basically cruise through this game in, in, you know, maybe an hour, a little bit over, um, but the quest never changes each time, so once you kind of figure out where you need to go, who you need to fight, you can probably cruise through this game in maybe 45 minutes. Right. Um, on top of all that, you know, they've really kind of stuck to the original template in, in a few too many cases. Uh, in the, the original game, you had a password system, so you know, you're constantly leveling up your character. Like we see here, you can purchase uh, you know, books for new moves and uh, you know, raise your various stats. And uh, you save these stats with your character, but you never save your character's position in the world. So every time you turn the game on, you're basically starting over from scratch. Well, yeah, you can load up, you know, your, you know, the fact that your weapon skill is really high and all that stuff, but at the end of the day, you're starting right back at the same high school. You still have to go fight these bosses, right. do it all from the beginning. So they took out the two-player simultaneous play. Yeah, that's probably uh, the most damning thing you can say about River City Ransom EX is that uh, they took out two-player play. Um, they put in what, you know, they probably considered to be some kind of substitution for it, and there's an AI system. Um, you can have both characters on screen at all times. You can only control one of them. And the other is kind of governed by this really loose AI system. You have some kind of control over that. Um, but the AI is really bad. You know, there's just instances where, you know, the guy will just, like, run into a wall, fall over, get back up, run into the wall <laughs> again. You know, just lots of really crazy stuff like that. And on top of that, the game defaults to uh, having weapons do damage to other players. So basically, if... Uh, that player is attacking, you know, with a weapon or something like that, you get caught in the crossfire, you get hurt. Um, so I was killed more than a couple of times by the stupid AI. Um, and it's, That's how it happens in the streets sometimes. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's rough in the streets, but, you know, you've got to stick up for your posse. It's and true. Uh, the AI just doesn't do that. So are there sweeping, <laughs> sweeping lessons to be drawn from uh, River City Ransom EX? But um, so also, what's, what's the deal with the... With the presentation, it, so the game like doesn't even throw you at a title screen. When yeah, and and that's actually something that again comes from the original game, which yeah. you know is something you could get away with in '89. But uh, now, basically, you turn on the game, it says you know it gives you an Atlas logo, and then it says Story Manage Data. <laughs> doesn't even say the name of the game until you've already either loaded up a character yeah. and you know gone all the way through these uh, several menu settings, and then you finally get a title screen and finally get this stuff. But it just it seems almost unfinished in a sense. Yeah, but with all of that said, I mean it's still it's still pretty fun, right? Because it is still River City Ransom has its moments. Yeah, it, the game like definitely that. does have its moments. Um, you know, a lot of the the kind of the goofy banter um, that the characters. You know, one guy will say barf when he dies, which I think is what a lot of people remember about the game. Um, it still plays the Double Dragon music when you fight the twins near the end of the game, which is something that you know really stands out. And uh, the, the combat itself is generally pretty good. 
It's just that the, the corners they cut and some of the design choices they made when they figured out you know, what they wanted to enhance are really misguided, and they kind of get in the way of the game more than they help it. Oh, well, can't win them all. Yeah. Um, anything else to, to add about the game or anything that stood out? Um, well, yeah, the, the one thing that really stands out is really strange to me and actually kind of speaks to the unfinished nature of the game is there's an options menu in the game where you actually set... Um, like almost debug level of control over the game. You can turn the gravity up or down. You can affect the balance of the different weapons so that, you know, weapons do less damage or punches do more. And it, it, it's one of those things that it's kind of neat, neat to mess around with. You know, you can make your guy jump even higher than he already can or something. But it's just one of those things that sticks out as like something that is like a debug menu that shouldn't have been left in the final version of the game. Be like a cheat code or something. Yeah, like that. exactly. You know, so just to have it right there, along with all the other just convoluted menus, it just it's really kind of a confusing front end for the game. Well, that's it's all kind of a bummer, I guess. After after a million, the developer did such a nice job with with the Double Dragon remake last year. Yeah, yeah. I mean, the the Double Dragon remake definitely you know had a lot more going for us than this does. Oh well. Thanks for taking the time to yeah. tell us all about the game, and we will uh, hope, hope for the best for Million's next effort. Definitely.